Hey guys, so for those of you who are not just building, but you're also managing, planning, scoping projects, just wanted to share an approach to scoping a build, scoping an app that I have been experimenting with and that I think has a lot of promise and that I think I like a lot. So basically one of the problems that at least I have when scoping is I like to have a written description of the functionality that really gets down into the nuts and bolts, the mechanics of how certain features work. But I also want to have that kind of high level view of the page structures and the layouts. And I'm not necessarily talking here about high fidelity UI mockups, just low fidelity stuff. Just what do the pages roughly look like? What are the pieces of information or the modules that are going to be on those pages? And what is the user experience, the high level user experience, how do users move between different views in the page, which of course informs the, the front end development that you're going to do. So you kind of got both ends here. You've got kind of the mechanics or the logic of the app and, and the front end. So a tool that I've liked for a while is, is, is Miro, which maybe you're somewhat familiar with, but let's you lay out elements on a screen. And I'm not going to make this a Miro tutorial. You, you can find that yourself pretty straightforward, but basically you can add stuff on the screen, right? You can add stuff and connect it to other stuff, blah, blah, blah. What is quite cool about Miro is that they have this wireframe library, which is by no means extensive. It's, it's very simplistic actually, but that's kind of a good thing. It just forces you to not get carried away and you can just lay out some, some views in your page, in your, in your application, some pages, some views with roughly the layout that you're going to have. So you can see that's basically what I've got here, like pop-ups and, and inputs and buttons, sort of some stuff I've just, I've just, you know, this is from an example app that I, that I scoped out recently with a client. Some of these stuff I haven't really fleshed out, you know, this, this card here might have a lot of detail in it. That's not really worth scoping out at this point, but this is basically what you have and you can you know, add connections between these, these elements. So I'm saying, look, when this button is clicked, then we're going into create mode. And then basically you're launching this flow here. So you're going from this, this button then takes you to this screen and you get the idea, right? So all of these pages, are, all of these views are linked to one another. Does it need to be clickable? Cause we're going to, we're going to do that in bubble. So this all might seem like, yeah, cool. I use a different tool for this. It works well. Great. Awesome. However, one thing that did stand out for me with Miro in particular, when I discovered this recently is it has this note section. Voila. So this note section allows you to have that written scope component in a way that is connected dynamically with your board view. So right here, I have per page, all of the, the kind of the mechanics. So the logic written in, in bullet form, and I actually have all of these views that correspond to what a user can do in a particular part of the app. Those are all embedded dynamically. So I can actually click, double click on one of these to be taken to it in the board view. So I find this to be really cool. So yeah, I mean, I, let's say that I'm, I'm scrolling through, through this and yep, that's cool. I'm getting this kind of detail, but how does this page relate to the app architecture again, well, double click on it, boom, there it is in the board view. So it's all really nicely connected. And I find that having these two modes to work in, like the, you see like the visual high level conceptual mapping of the application structure, but also a, a connected document view where I can actually get down into the nitty gritty of, you know, what is the type of data in these fields? And is there some, is there some requirements? You know, this, this button is only clickable under these conditions, all that kind of logic. That's just going to be messy. I can use post-it notes, but it's just going to be a whole bunch of messy stuff, much nicer, at least for me to have that in a, in a document form, but where I'm not losing sight of the, the elements themselves. So I think from memory. If I add a frame, if I add a frame here, frame one, and I want to add here a connection, then I can go board object. There we go. And then I just click on the frame that I've created, confirm. And then it adds it there in the 
notes view in the document. It's empty right now, so that's why you're not say, seeing anything. So I'll just give it a color. And then I can click this button here to refresh it. And there we go. There's the frame that I just created, which of course I can double click on and be taken to. So really, really simple. It does have some limitations. This is not a fully fledged document editor. So the, the markup or the formatting options that you have are kind of limited. That's basically what you've got. You can at least do nested bullets, but you, yeah, that's basically what you've got. And then it also is missing, like it'd be nice to have a table of contents, you know, a dynamic table of contents that you get into Google docs based on your, your headers, you know, your H1, H2 headers and that kind of thing, because this can get quite long, but you can expand it too. I can click here and expand it. So to me, it's still probably one of the better solutions for scoping. I think I'll keep using it and I'll be bugging Miro as well to expand the functionality of this note section. This is in particular what, what made me choose Miro over, over using something like Figma or Fig Jam recently is, is this, this notes component. So anyway, hope that's hopeful to some of you out there. If you've got your own killer solution for scoping especially for taking into account this kind of like early stage ux mapping with app functionality would love to would love to know what you're using otherwise cheers